Central retinal artery occlusion can be such a challenging diagnosis to make, and we could really use some additional tools in the emergency department that are easy to use. Could ultrasound be exactly that tool? Let's take a listen in to the neurocritical care mailbag. Is this really easy to find, or is it going to be challenging for those of us who don't do ultrasound of the eye every day? Well, first of all, I am not an ultrasound expert. And when I talked with my ultrasound folks at my shop, they said, oh yeah, we've probably seen this half a dozen times, maybe more. And I got this great example where they saw it on a QA video clip that was saved by a resident on a patient who was discharged. Then that patient bounced back with a CRAO. And I talked to another ultrasound friend of mine who said that they gave TPA based on the ultrasound because the person could not get contrast dye for a CTA. They all said, yeah, this is pretty easy. Why are you asking me this? 